Have you ever wondered what happens when the Earth's very foundation trembles and shakes? Picture this, the ground splitting wide open, revealing a molten inferno below. It's a scene straight out of a blockbuster movie, right? But what if I told you that this isn't fiction, it's a mind-boggling reality that has left scientists and explorers utterly astonished. Get ready to hold your breath as we unveil the astonishing story of the largest volcano ever just opened up and cracked up the Earth. Let's take a look at the map of Indonesia, a tapestry of over 13,466 islands, with around 9,000 holding names. Among these, five major islands stand tall, Sumatra, Java, Borneo, Sulawesi, and New Guinea. Yet, if your curiosity lies in the realm of supervolcanoes, a magnetic force might draw you to a particular Indonesian jewel, Lake Toba. While many admire the lake's beauty, few may know that beneath it rests the grandest volcano ever recorded, a titan that literally fractured the Earth. Indonesia is a favored destination for travelers, located in maritime Southeast Asia. This diverse land consists of five major islands and around 30 smaller groups. A grand total of 17,508 islands exist, of which about 6,000 are inhabited. Indonesia claims the title of the world's biggest island nation, spanning 1,904,569 square kilometers. The archipelago's expanse is a touch smaller than Mexico's, but over five times larger than Germany's. Hosting a rich mix of cultures, the country embraces over 271 million souls, crowning it the most populous island nation globally. The landscape of the larger islands is a symphony of peaks, many reaching elevations from 3,000 to 3,800 meters. Indonesia finds itself situated within the Ring of Fire, a region of intense volcanic activity and frequent earthquakes encircling the globe. This unique positioning exposes the country to the dynamic forces of our planet's crust. The very islands that form Indonesia have emerged through volcanic eruptions and the sculpting touch of tectonic plate movements beneath the ocean. The intricate dance of plates unfolds in this region, where two immense plates, the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific Plates, slide beneath the even larger Eurasian Plate. The continental plates of Eurasia and Australia also engage in a powerful embrace. These geological complexities bring both wonders and challenges to Indonesia. The islands are prone to earthquakes, some of which trigger tsunamis that can engulf coastal areas. In the League of Volcanic Abundance, Indonesia ranks third globally, following only the United States and Russia. This tectonic dynamism, particularly concentrated around places like Java, lends an air of unpredictability to agriculture in some regions. The country boasts an impressive collection of mountains and around 400 volcanoes, with approximately 100 being active. The Indonesian region stands out as one of Earth's most active seismic zones and holds a prominent status in terms of both active and potentially active volcanoes. Its landscape displays the characteristic features of an island arc, deep oceanic trenches, volcanic arcs, and marginal basins. The motion of the subducted tectonic plate occurs almost perpendicular to the trench axis. In typical subduction zones, a strike-slip fault zone becomes visible. In specific cases like Sumatra, where the motion runs oblique to the axis and parallels the volcanic chain, the volcanoes in the Banda Sea result from the Pacific Plate diving beneath the Eurasian Plate. Notably, a quarter of Indonesia's volcanoes reside north of the Sunda Arc in a region marked by intricate tectonics. This complex landscape is shaped by various small plates that form subduction zones, predominantly running from north to south. These subduction zones give rise to the volcanic peaks of Sulawesi, Halmahera, and Sangia. 
Many of Indonesia's islands are remnants of ancient volcanoes, lending rugged beauty to the landscape. Approximately 400 volcanoes grace Indonesia's terrain. These volcanic wonders string across Sumatra to Flores, with additional gems in Sulawesi and the Maluku Islands. Remarkably, among these 127 volcanoes, a third of the world's active ones find their home. Indonesia takes its place as one of the world's most geologically vibrant regions. A daily average of three earthquakes, registering five or higher on the Richter scale, rumbles through its terrain. Volcanic eruptions claim lives at a rate tenfold higher than in any other country. Yet, volcanoes carry their blessings. Their fiery outbursts gift fertile soil, allowing Java's farmers to reap three rice harvests in one season. In contrast, neighboring Borneo, graced by only one volcano, cannot replicate this feat. The nation counts 76 historically active volcanoes, outnumbering any other country. In 2006, Indonesia experienced 1,171 eruptions, just trailing Japan's 1,274. Noteworthy active peaks include Mount Merapi, towering at 2,968 meters in the Jawa Tenga province, which last erupted in 2007. Semeru, in the Siliwet Utara province, erupted most recently in 2008. From 1972 to 1991, 29 volcanic eruptions made their mark, with the majority erupting in Java. From 2000 to 2009, Indonesia witnessed 110 new or ongoing volcanic eruptions, with Java again taking the lead. In Indonesia, volcanoes are affectionately termed Gunung, translating to fire mountains. The Volcanological Survey of Indonesia spearheads volcano monitoring efforts, established by the Dutch in the 1920s and expanded by the Indonesian government. This organization keeps vigilant watch on some of Indonesia's most dangerous volcanoes, such as Merapi and Sinabung. Although observation posts dot the landscape, enabling constant surveillance, pinpointing the exact activity of these volcanic giants remains a daunting challenge. Nowhere else on Earth do so many people coexist with as many active volcanoes as in Indonesia. Within Java alone, over 30 volcanoes loom over 120 million inhabitants, a close proximity that has taken the lives of over 140,000 individuals over the past half millennium. The lethal ways of volcanoes encompass scorching lava, suffocating mud flows, and ensuing tsunamis following eruptions. These volcanic entities are intricately woven into the daily lives of the people. For instance, on Sumatra's sprawling island to the northwest of Java, the Batak people, who embraced Christianity in the 19th century, still believe in a heavenly origin for humans, descending from the skies onto Mount Pusat Buit, an active volcano overlooking Lake Toba. Another significant Indonesian volcano is Mount Tambora, visible from the northern shores of Sumbawa Island, located near the eastern edge of what was once known as the Dutch East Indies and is now Indonesia. Mount Tambora occasionally erupts, but its 1815 explosion remains one of history's most potent. The eruption stripped over 4,000 feet from its peak, reducing its height from over 14,000 feet. A vast crater over 4 miles across and 2,000 feet deep was left in its wake. On April 5, 1815, a minor eruption, akin to a prelude, was succeeded by thunderous rumblings. Ash began to fall, and by April 10, cannon-like noises resonated. The eruption reached its pinnacle that evening, its explosion audible over 1,200 miles away in Sumatra. Massive boulders were hurled about like pebbles, wreaking havoc in all directions. Flames shot from the mountain, joining forces to carry a plume of gas, dust, and smoke miles into the atmosphere. 
Rivers of scorching ash surged down the slopes at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour, obliterating everything in their path before descending into the sea with hissing and boiling fervor. Ships at anchor found themselves trapped on rafts of pumice stone, while tsunamis swept across the Java Sea. Volcanic ash reached Borneo, casting a dark veil across the sky. For weeks, a deluge of ash and debris rained down, causing houses for miles around to collapse, polluting freshwater sources, decimating crops, and inflicting lung infections due to sulfurous gases. The eruption's immediate impact claimed an estimated 10,000 lives, with thousands more succumbing to starvation and disease. The overall death toll in Sumbawa and its neighboring islands ranged from 60,000 to 90,000. Stamford Raffles, then the governor of British-occupied Java during the Napoleonic Wars, dispatched an officer to assess the situation in Sumbawa. The officer discovered scattered corpses, nearly deserted villages, and collapsed houses. Survivors were desperately seeking sustenance, while a severe epidemic of violent diarrhea emerged, likely triggered by volcanic ash contaminating drinking water, leading to further fatalities. Another monumental volcanic event linked to Indonesia's history is the eruption of Krakatoa. Situated in the Sunda Strait between the Indonesian islands of Java and Sumatra, Krakatoa gained notoriety with its legendary eruption in 1883, while it was a part of the Dutch East Indies and now forms a part of Indonesia. Krakatoa featured three peaks, Perbuatan, the northernmost and most active, Danan, located centrally, and Rakata at the southern tip. The island had erupted two centuries earlier in 1680, leading most to believe it was extinct. However, reports of tremors and explosions emerged in May 1883, first in western Java and subsequently on the opposite side of the Sunda Strait in Sumatra. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 was marked by a series of powerful explosions that began on August 26, with the first explosion sending a cloud of gas and debris 15 miles into the sky above Perbuatan. Over the next 21 hours, explosions intensified, culminating in a massive blast around 10 a.m. on August 27. This climactic explosion propelled ash as high as 50 miles into the atmosphere and was audible even as far away as Perth, Australia, spanning a distance of 2,800 miles. Subsequently, approximately nine square miles of the island, including both Perbuatan and Danan, collapsed underwater into the caldera, reaching a depth of around 820 feet below sea level. The eruption resulted in the deaths of more than 36,000 people. Surprisingly, the tephra or volcanic rock and hot volcanic gas generated by the blasts caused relatively few fatalities. However, the real devastation came from the tsunamis triggered by the island's collapse into the caldera. One tsunami created a 120-foot high wave immediately after the climactic explosion, obliterating 165 coastal villages in Java and Sumatra. The Volcanic Explosivity Index VI, for the Krakatoa eruption in 1883 was 6, equivalent to a force of 200 megatons of TNT. To put this into perspective, the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945 had a force of 20 kilotons, making Krakatoa's eruption nearly 10,000 times more powerful. The eruption released about 6 cubic miles of rock, ash, dust, and debris into the atmosphere, leading to darkened skies and vividly colored sunsets that had remarkable effects around the world. Additionally, the eruption had significant global climate impacts, with consequences felt thousands of miles away from Indonesia. For instance, Los Angeles experienced an annual rainfall of 38.18 inches in the months following the Krakatoa eruption, marking the city's highest recorded annual rainfall. 